Hi, my name is uh, Sadie. I work here as an astronomer in the physics and astronomy department. So a star is just basically a big ball of burning gas. All stars are spherical, uh, but sometimes when you see stars from here um, on the planet Earth, they look kind of more pointy and that's just because of the twinkling that happens when the light from the stars comes through the atmosphere, it gets jiggled around and that's why you see stars as twinkling. So if you're looking at something uh, tonight and it isn't twinkling um, and it's quite bright, then that's usually a planet. Planets reflect the light, they don't give out light. The planets are a lot closer uh, and that means that even though the light still has to come uh, through the atmosphere from the planet, the twinkling effect is basically like averaged out because there's a kind of like a bigger area. One of the most famous constellations is the Big Dipper. So this is kind of shaped like a saucepan. So it's shaped like this. And if you want to know uh, where South and North is, you can use the Big Dipper. I call it the saucepan. But you take the two, the two stars at the end of the saucepan and those basically point you to the North Star. If you found the North Star using the Big Dipper, if you keep going straight through the same distance you've gone from the Big Dipper to the North Star, you'll get to my favourite constellation, which is Cassiopeia, which again is quite easy to find because it's shaped like a W. So it's like this. And then Orion's Belt, it's got three stars in a row, which are really easy to find because they're quite bright. So these will be like one, two, three. And when you find those three stars, you can then find the other stars in Orion, which make up the shape of a hunter. Here on the roof of physics and astronomy, we have two uh, big telescope domes with really good telescopes inside them, uh, which the students use. Uh, but don't worry if you don't have any of this kind of fancy kit. Um, all the, the constellations, stars, planets are all visible with, with just your eyes. So as long as it's clear, you should be able to see them.